it is exactly 6 a.m. I just woke up. I wake up at 5.50 every day, no matter what, except for Saturday, Sunday, but Monday, Friday, 5.50 every day. And my workout is at 6.30, so I gotta get running, get my butt out the door, and get myself away. That's too close. Mommy's gonna go, I'll be back, okay? I just got to my work. I have about one minute before they open the doors, so I like to get here on time. First of all, because I work here and when people are late, Second of all, because of COVID and all the new policies and everything, we kind of have to get here a bit early to get a spot that we want. So we have the floor taped off. So we have tiles on the floor, everyone three meters apart, but everyone's doing a different workout because we have to be like an open gym concept opposed to a um, group fitness class. So we're limited to only nine people per class. Everyone's in their squares. You're all in your nice little safe zones. Um, everything like that. So you gotta get here on time to ensure that you are gonna get a tile that you want, one that you didn't do the day before or anything like that so that you're doing a different workout. My coworker is bugging me right now. So, I am fortunate enough that, as you just saw, my coworker, he's also one of my best friends, so we get to work together, and yeah, I'll kind of show you what that's like. Let me just, let me just suit up. All right, let's go. It's time to get this work out then. <laughs> you're in your camp? No, this no. is it. Hey, everybody. How's it going? Hope you're having a great day. Ew, why are you using that voice? <laughs> <laughs> so, I guess we go on. And that's going to be my spot for today. As you can see, we have a little tile that's all mine. It's all done. It finished at 7.15. I now have a little coffee. I have some room in it. It's just black coffee right now. I have quite a bit of room. I don't know why they left so much room, but I can't drink any of the milk at Starbucks because I'm intolerant to all of them. So I have to use my own at home at the moment. So I'll wait to drink that till I get home, but that's okay. I'm weird. I'm not someone who likes my drinks like super hot. Now coffee, like don't get me wrong. I like it like warm, a little hot, but like if drinks are too hot, I, I won't drink it. I can't do it. Tea, I like it to be like lukewarm and everything like that. So perfect temperature for me. But yeah, anyway, so realistically, I come to F45 Monday to Friday, 6.30 a.m. unless I'm working that class or if I'm just not feeling it, then I'll go to like my home workouts or anything like that. I'm still active during that day and I'm still gonna work out. But for the most part, I come here for my 6.30 a.m. workout and that's just because it gets my day going. So if I were to just wake up early and like get out of bed, then I would still be lazy. I'd probably move myself to the couch, do some work there, but this gets me out of the house, gets my workout done, and it's now 7.30 and I'm on my way home. And yeah, so I absolutely love getting up early. That is just me and I find it to be the most productive and helps me just get my day going and start it in a good zone. So mentally, physically, everything like that. And I'm very privileged that I do work here and that I am able to um, do these type of workouts right now that it is still allowed to be open under the regulations and everything that we're running under. So super fortunate for that. But yeah, when it comes to posting videos right now, I'm not sure if I should talk about this at home. I, I mean, I can just do it now. So realistically, I haven't been wanting to post the content that I post for a few reasons. Not that I don't like it, but there's few reasons behind it. So typically I will post workout videos or I'll post low calorie snacks, what I eat in the days and everything like that, right? So right now I currently, and I've had these, let's start with my workout videos why I don't really feel like doing them. So while I'm still extremely physical active and I'm working out, like I was saying, 
I work out six days a week. I take one rest day and I do something on that day, walks, whatever it may be. But my workout is very different right now from what it used to be. So for the past year and one month now, I have a slip disc in my lower back and it goes through phases where it's really good and then I do one little wrong thing with my posture and it slips again. So I've been doing physio and everything for a little bit now and it's just always touch and go. So I have to be extremely careful about the movements I'm doing um, when it comes to flexion, when it comes to rotation, and it just is very limiting for me. So my workouts are a lot slower, a lot more focused on my mind to muscle connection and just really I'm not sure if it's the type of content you guys want to watch while I am able to maintain the physique I have with it it's just a very different style of workout that I wouldn't say is for everybody it's a lot slower pace a lot more focus a lot more intentional and it just while I can do um, really intense hit workouts every now and again it's just not safe and good for my back at this time to be doing them constantly so I kind of space out how often I'm doing those very intense workouts right um so that's one reason but at the same time I also have a subluxation in my left shoulder and I've had this for about two years so if you ever see me struggling with like push-ups or anything like that it is because of that and I actually have an ultrasound coming up for that one pretty soon because with my physio I've just not been able to heal it I've been to two different physios now so at the end of the day it really just comes down to me having these slight injuries are actually very hindering in my fitness routine that makes me not really want to post content of a false reality right because while I do do those hit workouts and I do them as much as I can my body is limited to it right so it's just yeah it is what it is right I'm not doing those workouts five days a week whereas I used to in the summer I was doing them five days a week my back was fine but I did slip it again just before Christmas so that's why right now I'm just trying to make sure that I have my core stability my spine health everything like that is rolling in a good direction before I get a little bit more intense with it right and then when it comes to my low calorie snack videos I know a lot of you love them and personally I do too right and I stated in my last video that I want to be very clear that I make these for a very specific reason, right? I have them for little snacks around the house in between meals. Since I do track macros, you know, I do know how much I'm eating. Um, I do have goals that I want to achieve and everything like that. My macros aren't crazy low. I like to maintain my weight right now. Um, if I am cutting, they're on the lower side, but I never go below 1500 calories, okay? And that for me, it was a struggle. Like 1500 is hard. I, I love food. So I just really do not promote a low calorie diet. I don't think they're beneficial. I think the fitness industry really needs to move away from that concept unless you are training to compete right it is more than okay to have a goal and to be at that set weight for a certain amount of time but even that has its complications right so I just think there's a very big miscommunication when it comes to that and when I'm doing these low calorie snack videos I really don't want to be promoting low calorie diets low calorie meals and I just don't want to create my whole channel around that because it's not something that I really push and it's not something that I truly believe in. So while I think they're great for if you are cutting, if you are just looking for snacks around the day or a little snack at night after your meals where you're just still craving something sweet, perfect. That's why I make these and that's why I like these videos, but I just don't want it to be taken out of context, right? Because that is fully something that I do not support in that industry, right? I think that we all need to be making sure that we're fueling our bodies properly. And then when it comes to what I eat in the day videos, those are also a video I really enjoy doing. But currently, as you can see, I have really bad acne. Now I've made videos on my acne before. So I got my food intolerance test done because I believe that your gut is really your second skin, second brain, everything like that. And it turns out that I am intolerant to almost every food I eat. Like if you were to look at what I eat in a day, it is everything that are the foods that are in the red zone for me. So intolerances are not allergies. 
so it's more so something that when you eat it your body's like oh what's that so in order for it to check what it is it's gonna cause inflammation I that's the most basic way I can explain it right so in order for that to calm down I had to do an elimination diet so anyways that is all the content I make right for the most part a few vlogs here and there but what I eat in the day fitness low calorie snacks the bulk of my channel and having all these little things right now is making it very hard and limiting for me to want to create that content and I just want to be super honest with you all that that's kind of where I'm sitting right now but at the same time I kind of want to move a bit from some of that content like I was saying the low calorie stuff so if that's why you follow my channel I still will do it periodically but for the most part, I kind of want to shift a little bit away from that. And that's just due to the reason that it really isn't something that I promote. So while it's all fun and lighthearted, it's not something I want on my channel consecutively, right? And then I kind of just want to move a little bit more into more about me, um, more about what I do, how I stay motivated. Um, things in the past, how I got from like point A to point B, you know, where I was, where I am, whether that is fitness wise, whether that is job mentality, whatever it is, I, I have a lot more that I think I can offer than just the content that I have been putting out. And I think that it's going to be a lot more beneficial for people if I am to be a little bit more open about all the things that I have experienced and that I have been doing and I have done and how I have achieved what I have achieved at this point in time, right? I have a long way to go, but I, yeah, I definitely think it would be more beneficial. So if that is something you're interested in, then that's probably where I'm going to be heading with my channel for a little bit now. Um, and I hope that you find it interesting. I hope that it's going to be able to support you. And I will definitely go more into detail about it. Um, but anyways, my coffee is getting cold. And I still like it a little warm. So I'm going to head home and I'll see you when I get there. I have this milk steamer here. So I'm just going to go ahead and make some nice frothy milk for my coffee. Now you can see I have this nice frothy milk. If you hear someone snacking, Jay's just here awoke and eating his vegetables at 7 a.m. <laughs> All right. Whoa. Yo. During the week, I don't know, I don't really shower. I don't like showering. I find it like very aggressive when the water hits you. So I'm gonna run a bath, cause just resistance day. I don't wash my hair often. I mean, I wash it twice a week. So usually Monday and Friday is when I wash my hair. But it just stays fine. Like today's Thursday, tomorrow's Friday, so it's almost hair wash day. And I don't have anything in it. My hair is just, doesn't get that greasy. I don't know, I think it's cause I've always had it in that routine. I used to wash it like once a week. So it's very used to being in this state. I know some people have to wash their hair every day. I literally couldn't do it. So yeah, I'm gonna go run a bath and get my morning going. Callie. You want to come with it? Up on you. You don't like your bath? What's that? <laughs> What's that? <laughs> what is it? Oh no. <laughs> I think I broke my cat. Just before I have breakfast, I'll go ahead and take some of my supplements. So I do take vitamin D drops. These are a vegan one. And they just taste like olive oil because I have olive oil in it. So it's pretty nice. And then next, I will have a probiotic, good gut health, and then just some vitamin C tablets. So that's what I take for my supplementation in the morning, get my day going. This water bottle, 
I just got it off Amazon and I highly recommend you get yourself something like this. Not promoting it. I honestly don't even know exactly what brand I got it from. It's just off Amazon. But having a water bottle that time slots when you're supposed to be drinking your water, something like this, I am horrible at drinking water, okay? I consume a decent amount of water in a day, but having this literally shows me that I am consuming the water. It's giving me the time frames. And let me tell you, if you get to like almost bedtime and you're still at 5 p.m., you're like, shoot, I better drink up. And it just reminds you to like take a step back and be like, whoa, I actually haven't been drinking that much water. At the same time, I drink like teas, coffees, all that stuff on the side. So I am consuming more than just this. But yeah, I only get through one of these a day and then whatever else I am consuming on the side, I have soda waters and stuff. But for someone like me, having this has been extremely helpful for my water consumption. For breakfast, I have oatmeal with some protein powder on top. Now the only protein powder I can have right now is this cold pressed pumpkin protein. It's actually pretty good in macro. So it's 17 grams of protein for one scoop, zero grams of sugar, and it's only 90 calories for one scoop. So while it definitely does not taste the best, when I mix it with my Chobani vanilla oat milk, it's pretty good, I'm not gonna lie. So not my favorite, but it definitely works. As you can see here, I now have this like paste. And personally, that's just how I like my protein. I like it to be like an icing. So yeah, this will just go on top of my oatmeal. For my oatmeal, I do half a cup of gluten-free oats, two tablespoons of hemp hearts, and one tablespoon of flaxseed meal. So just ground flax seeds. And then I just pour some hot water over that. And as you can see, this is now thickened up quite a bit. The oats have absorbed the water and same with the flaxies and everything. So it's getting nice and thick. I'm just gonna plop this in the fridge for about 10 minutes just because as I've already explained, I just don't like hot stuff, even food. I know it's super weird, but it's just me. I like when food is cold or room temperature, so I'm gonna throw this in the fridge. Here is my breakfast all ready to eat. So once it sits in the fridge, it gets a lot thicker, as you can see, and it just has my protein on top. I would normally put frozen raspberries on it too, but I'm all out, so this'll do. For lunch, I'm just having a spinach salad. We have some buckwheat in here, as you can see. Just some cooked buckwheat for my protein. I have half a cup of cooked beets. And then I'm gonna go ahead and put on a serving of this bubble ganoush. So I just kind of drop it around the salad. And to top it off, I use this pesto tahini sauce. This is just one I pre-buy from the store. It has a bunch of different herbs in it and spices. You can use a powdered one, you can use a liquid one, or you can just add in whatever your favorite sauce is to this. Mm -hmm. 